Okay, we were discussing about the uh, this uh, World Wide Web. Uh, basically, this is uh, referred as World Wide Web or the Web Access. Or World Wide Web or the uh, Web Access is different types of information over the internet. Internet. It is a vast network of linked hypertext files. Uh, now, what are the hypertext files? They, that is a system in which different types of the file are placed over there. And that is the hypertext protocol also. Uh, they, they, they run a range of such uh, subjects. So the World Wide Web uh, uh, or the web uh, accesses different types of information over the internet. It is a vast network of linked hypertext files that are used on computers through, throughout the world. And throughout the world and provides information on a range of subjects. The web is access through the hypertext transfer protocol. The HTTP is a set of inst instructions, set of rules for transferring data when web services and the web browsers communicate with one another. Now, worldwide www is that basically this net pay both sari files और वहाँ से जो the through जो hypertext files के जरिए ये एक दूसरे के साथ link की हुई होती हैं और वहाँ से जो information हम exchange करते हैं जो through this www worldwide web it communicates with the world and provides the information on a range of subjects. Any different kinds of subjects you can find out. Uh, they, the files are placed over there and uh, they are assessed through a hypertext transfer protocol. Hypertext transfer protocol is that this is a set of uh, instructions or rules that when you are on internet pe jo, uh, 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 file transfer karoge, to wo उन इन रूल्स को फॉलो करते हो अगर आप इन रूल्स को फॉलो नहीं करेंगे तो ये आपकी इंफॉर्मेशन को एक्सचेंज नहीं करेगा सो दैट इज द www ओके नाउ वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट द व्हाट इज द ईमेल ईमेल इज अ सॉफ्टवेयर फॉर सेंडिंग एंड रिसीविंग मैसेजेस इलेक्ट्रॉनिकली ओवर अ कंप्यूटर नेटवर्क इट अलाउज अ user to send messages to many recipients immediately it does not require the receiver of the message to be online and the and the time the message is sent or received email is one of the uh, earliest and most popular service of the internet sometimes sometimes the, uh, sometimes popular email services provides uh, sorry uh, email is one of the earliest and most popular services of the internet some popular email services providers include google mail or gmail you can say yahoo uh, mail and outlook what is an email okay email basically an electronic uh, emailing ka nizam hai jo the latest hai आज कल के हम इंटरनेट पे इसको हम मैसेज सेंड करते हैं और अगर अब उसके सारे जो रेसिपिटेंट हैं उनको ये मैसेज चला जाता है अब उन रेसिपिटेंट का उस वक्त ऑनलाइन होना 
कोई ज़रूरी नहीं है अगर नहीं भी हैं तो मैसेज वहाँ पे पहुँच जाएगा और जब वो ऑनलाइन होंगे तो वहाँ से वो मैसेज उसको रिट्रीव करेंगे और मैसेज पढ़ेंगे और अगर मुनासब है तो उसका वहीं से जवाब देंगे अब ईमेल जो है वो कौन कौन सी किस्म की होती है जो हमारे यहाँ आज यूज़ हो रही है उसमें गूगल का वो है गूगल के उसमें जी मेल है उसमें याहू मेल है उसमें माइक्रोसॉफ्ट आउटलुक जो ईमेल है तो ये डिफरेंट काइंड्स ऑफ मेल हैं ईमेल बेसिकली ये क्विक मैसेजिंग सर्विस है जैसे आपने यहाँ पे सेंड किया थ्रू इंटरनेट के पूरी दुनिया में जहाँ जहाँ भी लोग बैठे हुए होंगे वो उनको रिसीव कर लेंगे तो ये एक उसका ईमेल का आपके पास जो उन्होंने वो दिया हुआ है कि ये आपके पास जब आप इसको ओपन करेंगे अपनी ईमेल को जीमेल को ओपन करते हैं तो इस तरह के बहुत सारे आपके इंफॉर्मेशन यहाँ पे आ जाती हैं कि भेजने वाला कौन है और उसने किस किस को भेजा है यहाँ पे ये उसका मेन पेज है मेन पेज पे जो उसका नाम होता है और थोड़ा सा उसकी डिस्क्रिप्शन होती है कि ई में है क्या so this is uh, what about the email ab dusri ek aa jati hai ki chatting jo iski facility hai internet ki to there are uh, we can read it chatting is common nowadays throughout a website or an application uh, commonly used चैटिंग एप्लीकेशन आर व्हाट्सएप मैसेंजर स्काइप जूम इमो लाइन एंड मैनी अदर एप्लीकेशन दीज एप्लीकेशन प्रोवाइड टेक्स्ट मैसेज वीडियो चैट वॉइस मैसेज एंड फाइल शेयरिंग अब दूसरा जो इंटरनेट पर हम जो चीज़ यूज़ करते हैं वो है चैटिंग चैटिंग क्या होती है कि इसको हम वेबसाइट के ज़रिए पूरी दुनिया में हम लोगों के साथ कम्युनिकेट कर सकते हैं वाई एप्लीकेशन के ज़रिए या आप ये एप्लीकेशन जो है ये हमें इनेबल करती है ये हमें जो है ना कि थ्रू डिफरेंट एप्लीकेशन सॉफ्टवेयर और उससे हम जो हमारे दोस्त हैं फ्रेंड्स हैं या किसी भी लोग शख्स से आप जो है उसका कम्युनिकेट करना हो तो थ्रू चैटिंग आप कर सकते हैं अब चैटिंग में बहुत सारी वॉइस मैसेजेस भी होती हैं वीडियो मैसेजेस भी होते हैं जो टेक्स्ट मैसेजेस भी होते हैं जो हम सेंड और रिसीव करते हैं ये आजकल जो हम यूज़ कर रहे हैं वो कौन कौन सी हैं कि व्हाट्सएप सबसे ज़्यादा यूज़ होता है मैसेंजर होता है स्काइप होता है जूम होता है और बहुत सारी एप्लीकेशन जो है वो हम यूज़ करते हैं फॉर चैटिंग पर्पस सो दिस इज़ आल्सो ए बेनिफिट ऑफ आवर कंप्यूटर सो अवर नेक्स्ट टॉपिक इज सोशल नेटवर्किंग सोशल नेटवर्किंग साइट्स आर यूज फॉर सोशल इंट्रैक्शन एंड people who share their comments photos videos quotes and news of uh, of their uh, in, interests and activities the most popular social uh, networking sites are facebook hangout chat instagram LinkedIn and uh, many more. Facebook is uh, is by far the most used social network site. Now the the other social networking is also used on the internet. So what is the social networking? There are the, these are um, the social these are the applications. of social networking where the people interacts among uh, each other with the uh, photos they exchange the photos videos and some uh, news of their interests and activities 
and uh, nowadays uh, the most uh, commonly used sites are facebook hangout chat instagram linkedin and many others the facebook is the most commonly used in our area so our next next topic is our e learning e learning is a way of learning using electronic technology or uh, outside a traditional classroom it is interactive so you can communicate with your teachers and others and their students in your class sometimes it is pre-recorded video and audio including uh, uh, audio lectures that you can play back as many times as you need e e-learning courses can be published online through a learning management system and users are able to access uh, contents anytime from anywhere e e learning is also known as online learning inter online learning internet learning and distance education so now what is the e learning this is a modern way of learning uh, the lessons in your sitting at your home you can uh, sit at your home through and by using the electronic technologies you can uh, you can address to a classroom uh the people the students are over there and you can at their home and the teacher uh, at uh, the internet uh, the room he can uh, communicate he can give the lecture he can uh, address to the uh, students sometimes this these are the pre recorded lectures lectures are videos and audios uh they, they are transmitted they are placed on the internet and you can access from there the <clears throat> access these lectures uh, from the internet e learning courses can be published online uh, through a learning management system which is known the lms and users are able to access their contents anytime any from anywhere these e learning co um, we can also say that the e learning is another name of e learning is online learning internet learning or we can say these are the distance learning so the this is also a benefit of our internet and computer now there is no uh, another is the e-commerce uh, this uh, the blessing of this internet we can um, uh, we can uh, buy or sell the our goods on the internet which is called the e-commerce the e-commerce or e-commerce is the buying and selling of goods and services on transferring data and funds over the internet it takes place using software application such as shopping carts online catalogs emails and web services the benefits of e-commerce are around the clock availability speed of access easy accessibility and a wide selection of goods and services for all customers you can buy books online from amazon electronic devices from ebay ebay and do important do, do import export through alibaba etc now 
e what is the e-commerce this is a modern uh, commerce way where you are using the internet and uh, you are using the applications or um, uh, the the websites where you can uh, sell or buy your goods and there is a range there is a vast variety of the, the of uh, of uh, and the goods are available on the internet you can choose the uh, choose the good choose the, the uh, choose, choose you can choose the uh, your uh, choice uh, subjected uh, material are uh, goods from the internet and uh, you can uh, pay the the, um, the price of that uh, good and there are uh, you on um, uh, such uh, uh, such uh, applications are used through email through online catalogs and many other devices can be used to do the e-commerce around the the, the the benefit of this is you can buy uh, the goods sitting at home or anywhere you want to buy that goods just simply you click and uh, you uh, give the information what do you need and what are present and you give the selection and uh, pay the online the price of this uh, material and they will send these goods to you you can buy the books from amazon you can buy the electronic devices from ebay or you can do the import and export through alibaba and there are so many other e-commerce groups where you can use them to for your uh, for your trade so next is the connecting to the internet how we are going to connect ourselves in the internet what is the way to connect ourselves in the internet connecting to the internet has changed over the years the means of uh, connection are telephone dial up modem digital subscriber lines dsl uh, cable modem wireless uh, satellite and cellular it is also known as internet access broadband uh, uh, sorry it is also known as the internet access broadband is is the most widely uh, used form of internet access due to its high speed and ability to transfer a large amount uh, of information simultaneously digital subscriber lines cable fiber optics wireless and satellites are different forms of broadband that are available how we are going to connect ourselves to the internet there are uh, so many other devices which we use to connect ourselves to the internet uh, these are the telephone dial up modem also digital subscri subscriber line all there is a small uh, portable device at your home that is called the dsl digital cable the digital subscriber line uh modems these are the wireless or it is um, through the cable or uh, these are the uh, satellite and cellular uh broadband is also used in our in uh, vastly used throughout the world for a form of internet access due to high speed its uh, uh, speed is very high and ability to transfer a large amount of information simultaneously digital subscribers digital subscriber line cable fiber optics wireless and satellites are different form of 
broadband that are available so these are the equipment when we use to connect ourselves with the internet